Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all boys on the man. What's it up, baby? I already know it is the big boss hog. Boss dog can't poke through the dope. Hit the top of the box. So, I got asked this by the crackers, right? The crackers say, Boss, what happened to Jamel Charlie and the Tim Zoo fight? You said they were gonna fight. What happened? You're wrong. Bah, crikey. Crikey. Calm down, man. Calm down, Kangaroo Jack. Right? Calm down. Now, what happened with Jamel Charlie and Tim Zoo fight, right? I keep getting asked this in the comment section. What happened with that fight was this. Jamel Charlo ended up going to jail, right? He ended up going to jail uh, for personal reasons. I'm not going to talk about his personal reasons on my channel. That's not what I do. I don't talk about personal issues on my channel as far as what the fighters are going through, right? That's just not what I do. But I will say this. Jamel Charlo went to jail. He's battling legal issues. You know what I mean? So it's gonna take him a minute. You know what I'm saying? He gotta, he gotta get that situated, right? Um, I know he out on bond, so we don't even know if he can even travel, if he can, we don't know what his bond stipulations are, right? Now, y'all heard me say, he should have fought Tim Zoo instead of fighting Canelo, but he dared to be great. He wanted to try to fight Canelo Alvarez and try to become undisputed at 168. He, it was a fight that he been wanting for a long time and he went and fought Canelo. Many of the crackers are sitting there saying that, oh, Jamel Charlo is a coward, he's scared, this, that, and the third. Jamel Charlo went and fought Canelo. Canelo. He didn't go fight, you know, Flock Flock for Flockistan. He didn't fight, he went and fought Canelo. He went up two weight classes and fought Canelo, right? So, him, the whole statement by him being scared of Tim Zoo is, is retarded. That's fanboy talk. I understand it because that's your countryman. That's the fighter you support. But I don't fight. I'm not a fan of fighters. I'm a fan of boxing. So I'm always gonna check that behavior when I see it. You know, I don't feel like Jamel Charlo is afraid of Tim Zoo. Jamel Charlo went up and fought Canelo. You know what I'm saying? That's what he went up and fought. Canelo Alvarez. He went up there and fought him, and he lost drastically. You know what I'm saying? Now, was that right? No. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to hold you, Mel Charlie, to the same standard of Hill Canelo. If you got them belts and you got mandatories, you got you to gotta fight them. You know what I mean? You can't hold on to belts and then be like, oh, I'm not going to fight him or... You know, I'll fight him when I feel like it. No, you got to fight him. When it's time for you to fight him, you fight him. You know what I mean? And I wanted him to fight Tim Zoo. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't want him to fight Canelo. You know what I mean? It, it, it did make sense to me. Like, at the end of the day, it made sense when Canelo and uh, Jamel Charlo were in the same weight class, you know, when they was at 154. But Canelo has fought at 175. You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense. You know what I mean? And I've always said that. <laughs> you can't sit here, bro, and say you are the king of a division and you're not reigning as the king of a division, right? You got to take care of business, you know? And taking care of business is, okay, boom, we got, I got to fight, uh, I got to fight Tim Zoo my mandatory. Boom, I got to fight him, just like Canelo. Dave Benavidez is his mandatory. He got to fight him. You know what I mean? You can't hold on to these belts and hold up these divisions. If you become undisputed at a division, you gotta, if you're gonna reign, right? If you're gonna hold on to the belts and you're gonna reign, you gotta take care of business. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a marriage, man. If you you marry a woman, right? That's the only type of marriage I know. When you marry a woman <laughs> and you committed to her, y'all become one, you gotta be loyal to her. You can't marry no woman and then be out here sticking your pole in every other woman. That ain't solid. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with these belts. If you ain't gonna be loyal, you ain't gonna take care of business, drop them belts so you can do what you want. You know what I mean? So I felt like what Charlo should've did was, if he was gonna fight Canelo, he should've just dropped the belts. 
He should just be like, you know what? I'm gonna go fight Canelo. That's a fight that I always wanted. You know what I mean? Ch Charlo has always wanted to fight Canelo since they've been at 154. He's made. You've seen him on standing in the stands. I'm like, I could beat that mother. You know what I'm saying? He said that. So we gotta. It ain't like something out of left field. He he been calling for that fight. You know what I mean? Now Canelo called his bluff, and he, you know Charlo took the fight. You know what I mean? That's what it is. I still stand on that Charlo should have fought Tim. You know what I mean? Me, I'm a. I, I'm just a dude that, that's big on being solid. I feel like him fighting Tim Zhu would have been a big fight. And also, um, because think about it, you got the Australians who are who only love their fighters. You know what I'm saying? They only love their type of fighters. They don't they don't love nobody else. So if he fought Tim Zhu, all of Australia would have came to wherever they fought at. If they fought in Vegas, all Australia would have been there. Cause Australians don't don't like other boxers. They just watch they boxers. That's it. They don't care about no other type of boxers, but the boxers that they have in their home country. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They can't even tell you the fighting style of another fighter who's not in their country. Yeah. Like I say, they know Tim Zhu. They would have came out supporting. You would have made a lot of money fighting Tim Zhu. It would have been a good fight. I think Jamel Charlo sparks Tim Zhu. I stand on that. I still do think he can spark Tim Zhu. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, it's a more dangerous fight now because Tim Zhu is getting better and Charlo has allowed him to get better. See, what Charlo should have did was he should have fought that boy a long time ago. Not Tim Zhu. He catching up. I'm not going to lie to you. He catching up. He getting better. He's getting better. He's getting more confident in who he is as a fighter. And when you see fighters do that, that's that's a problem. That's a problem. You know what I mean? So now this dude building up confidence. He like, shit, man, can't nobody see me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Charlo, what he got to do is, man, it's go time, man. You got to, you know, he, he at that state now where he got to rebuild his career, bro. He got to rebuild who he is as a fighter. And that's, that's going to be tough for him. You know what I mean? He probably gonna have to go to 160. Which he should have did in the first place. He should have dropped all them belts and went to 160. I've been saying that. I don't know why he didn't do it. You know what I mean? If you didn't have no intentions to fight Tim Zhu, you should have just went to 160, bro. You feel me? He should have went to 160. That way you could sit there and reign at 160. You know what I mean? That's just real talk. That's what I feel. I feel like he should have just went to 160, you know, built up, you know, and, and tried to rein up there, you know, if you didn't want to fight Tim Zhu. Me personally, if I was Charlo, I would have fought Tim Zhu. I would have told Canelo, man, man, I've been trying to fight you. You don't want to fight me. Get out of my face. That's why I would tell Canelo. But I do understand why it's Canelo, right? Any fighter that's acknowledged by one name, he bid, right? So it's Canelo. So the opportunity to beat him. Also, the money. You're going to get a guaranteed 10 million fighting Canelo average. You know what I'm saying? You make life changing money when you fight Canelo. Just like when dudes used to fight Floyd, you make life altering you know, money. When you fight uh, these type of fighters, you got know I mean, it's life altering. It's like, bro, it's, this that type of money change your life. You be like, dang, girl, like, bro, I'm I'm finna make so and so thousand. You know, I'm in my bad thousand, so and so million. You feel me? It's it's that's that's what happens, bro. When you getting these fights with Floyd, with Canelo. Any athlete that you know them by by first name basis, they big, and you know they make a lot of money. You feel me? That's just what it is. They make a lot of money. So <laughs> I understand why Charlo took the fight, but would I have took that fight? No. I told Canelo, "Hey, bro, look, man. Uh, you know." I guess I'm gonna have to miss out on the sweet taste, sweet because I wanna smoke with this boy right here. This boy talking, he got his whole country talking. 
know what I'm saying? And I, I wanted that fight. I wanted Charlo versus Tim Zhu. I'm not going to lie to you. I still want it. I don't think it's... I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't think it's going to happen now. You know what I mean? I saw Tim Zhu did an interview. He was like, Jamel Charlo's a coward. And he got every right to feel how he feel. Do I agree with him? No. Nah. Like I said, that's that goes with you saying that a fighter is scared of a fighter. I don't believe any fighter is afraid of any fighter. Right? Anybody that's been in that ring before, from amateur all the way to pro, right? You're not afraid of no fighters. Because you, what, what they gonna do? Punch you in your head? <laughs> like, bro, you been getting punched in your head. You know what I'm saying? Like, you been getting stole off on what you, what you mean? So, it's, it's, <laughs> it's pointless to be like, oh, yeah, man. You know, he's scared of him, man. He don't want no smoke with him. That's retarded. That's ludicrous to me. For you to sit there and be like, man, bro, I, I'm going to keep it 100. He's scared of him. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, man. That's, that's, that's casual talk. You don't know nothing about no boxing. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you this. My, and I say this in my last video. I got a partner. She asked me. She said, you know, what if Mike Tyson came up and push you, what you gonna do right now? I said, we finna fight. What you mean? So you 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 telling me you'll fight my guys? Yeah. She's like, nah, bro. I'm like, you don't understand, bro, the mentality of a fighter. I'm gonna fight that man, bro. Nah, when I, I and this for anybody, I'm not the type of dude that's gonna go up and just try to fight anybody. Like, I'm not messing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a peaceful brother, but I am reactionary. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of stuff I do be reactionary. You know what I mean? You got to mess with me first. You got to poke the bell. Pause. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is overall, man, you know, get back on topic. Jamel Charlo, man, he got to revitalize himself. He got to rebuild his career. He got to he got to do all that, man. You know, hopefully he can. You know, I, I wish him the best, you know, and I want, I want to see him try to, you know, get back to the top, you know what I'm saying? Because he's an excellent talent. Now, I don't know if he got comfortable or what. You can make the argument he got comfortable, but I still think Jamel Charlo can spark Tim Zhu. I'm not going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? I still do. And I hope that that fight gets made, you know what I'm saying, now, I went from, man, they gonna fight, to now I'm like, I don't know if that's gonna happen, you know what I mean, because now Tim Zhu got live. Tim Zhu could be like, I don't want to fight you, I don't care, Tim Zhu got a belt, I think Charlo's down to one belt, you know what I'm saying, he got stripped of the WBC belt, you know, uh, I think they took the, I don't know, I don't know which belt he got left, I know they took the WBO belt, I don't know what happened with the WBA or the WBO, or the IBF. I don't know which belts is where. All I know is that that man right there, yeah, I just feel bad for him a little bit. But then there's another side of me that's like, you can't do that, man. You can't move like that. You know what I mean? You gotta take care of business, you know? And like I said, I know he got personal issues going on in his life. You know what I'm saying? I, do, I definitely understand that. So, you know, I'm not trying to, like, I'm really not even going hard on him. I'm just saying, like, he should have fought Tim That's just my opinion. You know, I know that he saw the money. He saw the opportunity to fight Canelo, which would be, is a big opportunity. If you beat him, it, it takes you to a whole nother level, you know, as a fighter. You know what I mean? If you're victorious against Canelo, but... You know, people who really know boxing know that wasn't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't gonna happen. He was gonna lose. That's what it. I don't care how much skills you got. There are weight classes for a reason. You can't sit here and come from a lower weight class that's like two, three weight classes down and go fight a dude at this upper weight class and think you're gonna beat him. You know what I mean? It's not happening, bro. They punching up there. And Charlo felt that power. He even said after the fight, man, that dude's strong. They punching up there, bro. That's why I'm killing all this noise about Terrence Crawford. I'm like, 
Terrence Crawford go to 168, Canelo's stopping him, bro. I'm telling you this. He's stopping him. You know what I mean? Like, he's stopping him, bro. I don't... Uh, I'm just... I'm just keeping it a thousand. I'm a favorite Canelo, and I'm telling Canelo gonna win. Nah, truthfully, I'm at, I'm be honest. Do would I want Canelo to win? No, I wouldn't want him to win. I would want Terrence Crawford to win. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm just being logical, right? Logically, Canelo gonna stop that man, bro. <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, I'm talking, that's what it is. You know, so. But Jamel Charlo, I'm interested to see what he's going to do. Charlo got to revitalize his career, you know, and, you know, climb back to the top. You know what I mean? 33 years old. He's going to be 34 this year. You know, he ain't no young, he ain't no young bull no more. You know what I'm saying? He got to. He ain't, I don't know, you know, those injuries starting to, to mount up. So, you're going to have to do something different this next chapter of his career. You know, he's already accomplished undisputed at one-way class. Maybe he could try it again at 160 if his brother moves up. You know what I'm saying? You know, but we shall see. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's go.